CUE5 BP Guru. We're back in the first person shooter project. And it's been a while. Um, we last finished off doing the widget and getting everything ready for that. Uh, there's one little thing we need to kind of uh, sort of go over before we get into the nitty gritty of like attaching the object to our hand and, you know, doing all that kind of good stuff and actually getting the ball rolling. Because I know this has been quite a few weeks now and, and we actually still haven't got anything in our hand yet. So I promise this is going to be the final video and then we're going to actually start attaching stuff to our hands and um, then we'll move into shooting and eating and, and doing all the things with that object in our hand. So the first thing we've got to do though is uh, we need to get that object in our hand. Now, to do this, we need to prepare our items. And uh, a lot of you will find this, that when you bring an item into your game or you download a pack of the marketplace or anything like that, uh, you're going to find that your assets will come in wherever, if I, if I can find it. Where is it? Where are my items? Uh, items? Uh, I'm not the right thing. There we go. Uh, let's, let's do food, for example. Uh, if we go into the meshes, you'll see that... Uh, None of them have skeletal meshes, which obviously is fine if you're just doing pickups and eating them uh, immediately, because you can just add those to blueprints. But what we're doing is we want to hold this item and then eat it. So we need them as skeletal meshes so that it actually appears in our hand. Um, this is only purely if you're going down the route that I'm going down. Obviously, if you are just having it that when you click a button, like in the inventory, for example, or if you pick it up and you do it, you don't need to follow this example. But but you will probably want to for guns because guns have the same issue. If they don't come with skeletal meshes or if you make your guns yourself in Blender and you import them as static meshes, you're going to find a lot of issues. So if you've downloaded a pack in this example, I did. I downloaded the food pack off of the marketplace. Um, you're going to have all your stuff as static meshes, which is fine. You can see I've already moved one back with the apple. But um, let's have a look at doing a different one so you can see the example now i want to do something i can actually probably pick up and actually hold so let's go for oh gosh this is i should have prepared this let's do um let's do the donut as we made that actually an item didn't we so right click on your donut and what you want to do is this is, is and i promise you this is very very simple um but if you go to the asset actions you have export and if you export this item, this static mesh out, you'll you'll get this thing up here. Uh, I'll just put mine in the downloads. It's it's fine, and we'll leave it as food bread donut, which is a really weird uh, naming convention. But <laughs> food, it's bread and it's a donut. Um, you could just put donut. Uh, once you've downloaded it and you've got it as an FPX, you're literally just going to drag it straight back into the same location. Um, Oh, what, what happened there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, it's because I didn't actually export it. Sorry. Uh, I didn't export it correctly. Click on export. Give it a name. And another window will appear. It's come off screen. It's here. Uh, I leave all mine as this. I don't think you need to change anything too much. So just click export. And that will export the object into your file. Once you've got it in your folder... Um, find it i'm going to do this off screen because i've got a lot of other things on here uh but if you find where the object is drag it in from the folder i save mine in my downloads you can save yours wherever you want and just drop it in uh fail to re-import oh oh dear try again interesting uh let's come out of here and try and do it in here instead there we go it's because it's trying to overwrite that static mesh that's fine I don't know why I did that. It's okay. But what we need to do is more important that's on here. So you get your import options. Now, what we need to do is give it a skeletal mesh. Now, you don't need to give it a skeleton. And the skeleton really isn't going to matter because you're not going to be doing any animations or movements with this object. It's purely just so you have a skeletal bone that you can connect to something else, to another skeletal bone, which will be our hand slot, probably. So just leave it as none, but make sure you click skeletal mesh and import all. And you can do this for any item you you make as well. So this is this is this process should work for anything you've created in Blender. And you'll see now in the window once I've got rid of all the uh, the warnings. Here we go. Um, we now have now it's giving us two. I don't know why it's giving us two. Uh, you could probably just delete one out to be honest. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the skeletal mesh, and you'll see when I bring the window over. That it is no different. It's exactly the same. It's got its uh, all of its information on here. 
The only difference is now that on this right hand side here, we can uh, click on skeletal tree and it has a bone. It just has a bone, right? It's got a bone to pick with you. Oh, that was a terrible joke. I apologize. <laughs> You've got a bone. And what we can do here now is we can also do things like uh, add sockets. Uh, if you wanted to attach things to this donut, I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. Maybe if you're making random custom items, who knows? You can do that. And now we can use this item to um, attach to our character when we want to eat things, etc. And um, Or maybe just walk around with an equipped donut. I don't know. You, you, it's your game, right? You do what you want to do. Um, and if we go back into our items, and this is just a little bit of pre-preparation, if you will. If you go to your third person character, go to the items here and we click on any one of these. Uh, we've I've done the apple and I've also done the donut, but let's do the donut. Let's keep it on theme, shall we? Um, crack that bad boy open and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the little details panel. So you can see here where I've obviously started filling in the information from our master information. Obviously, it gives you hunger for eating a donut, etc. So you'll be able to do all of this stuff. Um, but uh, what we want to do is we want to come down. Let's put in donut. Hopefully, it should. What did I call it? Food. There we go. Food, bread, donut. We have that, um, the uh, LOD, this one here. And that's what we're going to spawn into the game, essentially. So it's as simple as that. And obviously, I thought I would just cover this before we move on to um, actually attach them because I, I didn't want people to get confused and be like, how have you got these skeletal meshes when you aren't making them skeletal meshes, etc. You know, uh, so this is how I will do this for all of my items that do not have skeletal meshes uh, going forward. Um, very simple, very quick, and it should allow you then to start attaching these when we come to that in the next episode. So hopefully you found this episode useful. Hopefully you learned something you didn't know before. And um, yeah, next episode, what we're going to do is I'm just going to explain that because we're you know we're only at the seven minute mark. Got to get over that eight minutes, you know. <laughs> We're going to um, basically, if I click play, we're just going to get it so that, um, oh God, this editor window is horrendous. Oh, disgusting. Right. Uh, we're going to just basically get it that um, when we obviously pick up these items, uh, like so, and we go to our inventory, when we click on this button, you know, you won't be able to see it like this, but hopefully a donut should appear in this uh, hand here and from that point on you know when we click on something um we should then be able to shoot eat etc um the other side of the coin as well is is that we need to do a few checks as well that if this i this item here is um like a gun we go into a different animation pose obviously if we're holding like a donut or uh or like any kind of food or drink or medical it could probably stay like this to be honest and then we just um we just have the uh, different animations for things like melee and guns. That's the only two things I feel we need to um, have a different animation for. So we'll work on those as well when we start to get to guns and, and melee. But um, yeah, we'll, we're going to get items into our hand next. And from there, we can then do different things like eating and healing, etc. So it's, it's starting to come together. Hopefully you're enjoying this series as much as I am making it. And... Um, yeah, see you in the next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.